Welcome to Knowledge Graphs, Lecture 2, Basic Knowledge Graph Infrastructure. My name is Tabea Tietz and today we will talk about RDFLIP. And in this hands-on session I have prepared a collab notebook for you and in it we will make use of the RDFLIP library in Python and we will talk about RDF serialization and graph visualization. And yeah, let's first talk about RDFLIP. RDFLIP is a Python package for working with RDF, so it's very useful for us. It contains parsers and serializers, it contains store implementations, a graph interface, and also a Sparkle implementation. And to start, we of course have to install some packages first. We install, for example, RDFLIP, as I said, for working with RDF. And then for our visualization, we use PyDotPlus, GraphVis, and KGLab but you will see in a bit what we are going to do with it. Right, we start the installation and as you know, <laughs> it sometimes takes a minute and we are done. And then we import RDF lib. Um, we in import um, yeah, namespaces here and also if we want to use URIs, blank notes and literals, we import this. And then for our visualization, we also import PyDot Plus. So at first, let's take a look at the graph that we want to work with. Um, in the beginning, of course, we have our prefix definitions and then we have our graph which contains information about various films and actors. Um, the first film that you can see here is Pulp Fiction. We have several um, labels in several languages like English and Ukrainian. We have a genre that is attached to it. We have um, yeah, place in, so we have a location here, which is Los Angeles, and we have several actors like John Travolta and Bruce Willis. The second film in our graph is The Green Mile, which is also of RDF type film. We also have several language labels. It is starring Tom Hanks and uh, David Morse. And in our last film in this graph, we have Tenet, which is also of type film. And here we only have an English label and we have, for example, actors like Robert Pattinson. And yeah, we simply load this graph. And then the first thing we want to do is simply print all of the triples in the graph, which is quite easy. Right, and here you can see all of the URIs that we have been using. And um, yeah, we have an overview of the graph. Next, we want to save the graph so that we can use it later on. And um, now let's talk about RDF graph serialization. We already learned in the lecture that we have different serialization formats for RDF. And in this case, we have um, yeah, RDF Turtle and we want to print everything in RDF XML. And um, yeah, we did this and you can see here the output, which is RDF XML. And you can already see that for a human, it's very hard to read this, much harder than um, RDF Turtle. And the next thing that we want to do is to visualize the graph to get a better overview. And here we have two um, graph visualizations prepared for you. The first one uses KGLab. This library provides a very simple abstraction layer uh, in Python for building knowledge graph and it, for example, uses RDFLib as well. We import KGLab at first and then we can also use KGLab to simply measure the graph very easily. So we want to print just all of the edges, uh, the number of all of the edges and nodes in the graph. We can see here we have 33 edges and 22 nodes. For our visualization, um, we can also adjust a bit what this should look like. For example, we can say that uh, according to the prefix, all um, uh, nodes with the prefix dbr should be orange and all nodes with the prefix dbo should be blue. Just as a reminder, DBR stands for DBpedia resource. That means yeah, all of the instances in DBpedia. And DBO gives us 
parts of the DBpedia ontology. That means we can distinguish here between the classes and instances in our graph visualization. Right. And next, we can simply create an HTML document that contains the visualization. And um, here we also download the file that we can then use to visualize in our browser. And also this should take just a minute. It's downloading and here we have it. So this is quite a nice visualization. We have, um, oops, sorry. So the blue, dark blue nodes here um, visualize our classes in the graph and the orange ones, the instances. We have here, for example, the class film and um, we have Pipe Fiction as a film here. We also have the class actor and, um, for example, David Morse attached to it. And it's a nice um, HTML document and I invite you to try this out on your own. And next we can also use another type of visualization that simply creates a PNG, so not an HTML file, but simply a picture that is a bit more static, but uh, on the other hand it shows us all of the URIs for the resources. And here um, we use a function and simply visualize the graph. And then we should be able to see it within the Collab Notebook in just a second. Right. So we can see here that um, it's probably not as pretty, but we get a good overview of the graph. And we can see here also that it contains all of the URIs that we need. We have the movie Tenet and um, yeah, DBO starring George John David Washington and um, also other actors. And then you can simply also download this PNG and then um, you, you have a good overview of your graph. Yes, and I hope this was helpful and we invite you to try this out on your own and visualize your graphs. And I see you in the next lecture.